All right, guys. Well, it's been a hot, sticky, windy midsummer day here in early March here on uh, this. What would you call this? A brooding, a brooding early March day uh, here in the end times in paradise. It is a Saturday afternoon, a Saturday afternoon at 4.20 uh, here in the end times. And uh, that would be Saturday, March the 9th. 2024 and the last day before daylight's savings time returns tomorrow hallelujah so anyway uh, I am off to get the two essentials of any uh, functionally depressed person and that is tequila and ice cream I am I am out of tequila and ice cream and good God the thought of uh, a Saturday night however it falls out uh, without those two staples so anyway I'm trying to decide my choice for tonight is uh, sit alone in doomsday trailer on Saturday night drinking tequila uh, binging on ice cream and ice cream and clonopin tequila ice cream and clonopin Saturday night at home with Netflix or to uh, go through what I would have to go through to join my clueless lovable friends down at this picking party so I have a few hours to decide right now the tequila clonopin and ice cream sitting alone in doomsday trailer is winning but we shall see uh, but anyway while I'm pondering all that the other thing <laughs> the other thing I'm pondering guys now several of you uh, have sent me the link to this story which of course I had already seen uh, is Hambone Little Tail going to keep his mouth shut about this food aid airdrop that uh, how many people did it kill? Uh, I'm thinking the uh, I'm sure the unofficial death toll probably higher than being reported is that five people uh, were killed and at least 10 uh, seriously injured in Gaza I guess uh, right when Joe Biden was making his speech about dropping food aid by parachute uh, in, in, into Gaza for you know for <laughs> for the US to be parachuting food aid into Gaza right there you have a you know enough layers of irony to uh, you know it, it would take a, a jackhammer to unpack the levels of uh, sick black humor and irony but when you when you <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry guys when you add in the, the fact that the parachute did not open and uh, five people dead, uh, ten injured, uh, whatever, uh, getting crushed by, by, by plummeting packs of food aid dropping out of the sky. You, you know, I... I I mean, a, a lifetime of, uh, <laughs> a, 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 a lifetime of challenges to a, uh, a, an acerbic social commentator. 
uh, having this one uh, dropped dropped into my life without a parachute. Y you know, I'm. I guess I'm already in trouble with the a little bit with the YouTube cop bots for my uh, State of the Union address yesterday. I'm I'm getting a little. Uh, I, I'm I'm getting a little. Uh, slapped on the wrist already for that one and uh, yeah, speaking of, of, of cop bots being slapped on the wrist so uh, and the artist formerly known as Vegematic in his latest video right at the end of the video he said something like uh, you know spread the cheer Spread the good vibes, spread the love, uh, you know, spread the the hippie vibes. Uh, <laughs> and as as soon as he <laughs> as he implored his listeners to spread the uh, the you know the hippie vibe of peace and love around the planet, Sancho Panza blew a fart uh, on the couch. <laughs> To uh, that, that was Sancho's comment on spreading the 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 peace, love, and happiness vibe, and uh, so I I sent that comment to uh, Vegematic with the word fart in it, and the comment was ripped down by the uh, Utah YouTube cop bots about my dog farting. But anyway, uh, so. If you if you can't talk about your dog farting on on YouTube anymore, and you can't give an honest State of the Union address without uh, raising the ire of the YouTube community cotbots, what the fuck are you gonna do with this? With with, with five people. Who never should have been born? Uh, with with all those people, with all those folks are dealing with, you know, talk about just not being able to catch a break. Uh, you know, like already, what those folks were dealing with, uh, what what their life must have looked like. I. You know, when was the last time the those ten people who got killed by falling uh, falling packs of food aid? You know, when was the last time they were going to get ice cream and tequila from the local neighborhood grocery store? You know, good God, how many how many? Uh, Wines have I done about not being able to catch a break, and then uh, <laughs> dealing with that. So I'm trying to remember the last time, a, you know, one of my videos. You know, not counting the Corona panic, uh, but not counting the Corona panic. One of the few videos I have ever had pulled down. Uh, not just age restricted, but, but yanked down for violating the uh, YouTube community guidelines. I don't know if you remember, I'm 99% sure it was in Pakistan. You have some green berets coming out of the liquor store. Green beret. Good God, we're, we're so fucked. And uh, do you remember that uh, that that fuel truck, that gasoline truck in Pakistan a, a few years back that exploded. And before it exploded, all of these people uh, seeing the fuel leaking out of, a, uh, out of an overturned gasoline tanker, uh, running up to the truck, you know, grabbing buckets and uh, anything they could find to get a free gallon of gasoline and then that damn thing exploded. How many people were killed in that thing? Uh, I, I, I think over 200 
were uh, crispy critters in that uh, in that explosion, and uh, I guess the, e even then. I mean, this was back before the corona panic. It really got the cop bots panties in a wide. And, <laughs> and I got that video pulled out. <coughs> but, you know, e e e e you almost can't compare those because, you know, it's a little different if a, if a gasoline truck turns over and blows up and, and, and just kills a bunch of people. You know, that's one story, but to actually have dozens and dozens of clueless fucking morons running out to get the gasoline, uh, and, and, and then the truck exploding. It, 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 it's two different stories, and uh, it, it's just not quite the same yeah, you know, something about some clueless fucking moron risking their life uh, to get a free gallon of gasoline in, in Pakistan, uh, and, and and you compare that to uh, I, now, I there there's no way of knowing. Of course, uh, were the people who got killed by the falling. Uh, blocks of food aid, uh, were they running towards the falling food or were they running away from it? Uh, we, we, we will never know. Were, were they running toward food falling from the sky? Talking about manna from heaven, uh, the, the cargo cult in action in the end times. I, you know, I, I, I need to shut up right now. Uh, I, I mean, this, this fucking, uh, it, it, it could go so many directions. Uh, the, 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 the sick, twisted, absurdist uh, humor in, in a bunch of Gazans being killed uh by by falling packs of food aid but i <clears throat> i can see uh i've already gone too far <clears throat> so if anybody is wondering does hambone little tail uh have an edit button uh this story probably more than any story i have ever encountered uh is 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 getting me to hit the fucking edit button uh there, there there is nothing that i george carlin bill hicks uh anybody can uh j j just can add to that headline uh five killed by falling food aid as parachute fails to open <laughs> I'm, uh, anyway, all right, I've got a bottle of tequila and a tub of Tillamook brownie batter ice cream with my name on it. Uh, I keep waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a bottle of tequila and a tub of uh, Tillamook brownie batter ice cream to come falling out of the sky. <sighs> Look at this guy. <laughs> All right. Well, can't depend on manna from heaven falling out of the sky. So I'll go buy my own fucking tequila and brownie batter ice cream. Getting ready for another Saturday night. Bye, guys.